students myself rupali v goel assistant professor in civil engineering department i am going to deliver a lecture on intact structure today and that is a part of curriculum of gtu under the subject of water and waste water engineering in civil engineering branch of 6th semester so here in this figure you can see this is there is one structure and that is nothing but it is a intact structure so here you can see this is the source of water and that is a surface water source either river or lake and here just to take water from this surface water source such kind of uh, well or such kind of structure is provided with some entry uh, holes or entry port and inside that you can collect your water and then after you can transfer that water through this uh, pipeline and just generally which is called as the withdrawal conduits or withdrawal pipeline and then it will further convey water to water treatment plant so just by literal uh, literal meaning of intake is to take in so here also similar function of intake structure is to take water from this surface water source and convey it through this uh, withdrawal conduit and transfer it to water treatment plant if you want to uh, define this intake structure then you can simply define it it is used for collecting water from the surface water source and conveying it further to water treatment plant now there are two possibilities of this flow of water to treatment plant first is by means of pumping if your water treatment plant is above your water source and second is through gravity if your water treatment plant is below your surface water source and uh, mind well that this intake structures are only provided for the surface water source not for uh, subsurface water source so here the basic function just to uh, again uh, uh, recall it is safely withdrawing water from source and that is surface water source and conveyed through the withdrawal conduits and reaching up to your water treatment plant so generally this structure that is made in your water that is either masonry or concrete structure and its main aim is to provide water which is relatively clean free from pollution sand and other objects neighbor and floating material want to select a particular location for intake structure following factors you have to consider first thing site should be nearer to water treatment plant so that cost of conveying water would remain less next it should be provided in the pure zone of source which is pollution free because it will reduce the load of treatment on water treatment plant next an ample quantity of water should be available so that it can be useful for the future demand also and in the driest period also you can withdraw water also it should be easily accessible during floods and should not get flooded under such condition if it is very difficult to uh, operate this intake structure and that will hamper your water supply scheme the site of the intake it should be easily approachable because for the maintenance purpose the person has to go to that particular site also it should not be located near the navigation channel because uh, if some uh, some movement is there some chances of accidents and pollution are always there due to movement of the ships also this intake structure it should be so located that good foundation conditions are available just to avoid the possibility of scours also it should not be provided in the meandering river the meaning is that uh, in the river which are taking very sharp curves then uh, it is very uh, it is uh, going to um, produce a very rapid current so it should be protected from the rapid current it should not be provided in such uh, rivers which are called as the meandering river having very sharp turns there are three types of intake which are classified under three heads first is depending upon the position so depending upon the position there are two types submerged intake so which is entirely under water you cannot see from the uh, particular source of water second is exposed intake now you can see in any uh, source of water so that is uh, visible and uh, this well or tower is generally constructed near the bank of river next is presence of water inside your tower so whatever tower if in the tower the water level in the tower is same as the water level in the source that it is called as the wet well or jet well and if there is no water inside your tower then it is simply used for the operation of the valves then it is called as dry intake third based on the source from which source you are taking your water so this four basic sources are there so depending upon that river intake reservoir intake lake intake and 
canal intakes are there in any intake well uh, these are the possible list of the components first and very important component that is called as the screen so generally the screens that are nothing but the holes which are provided uh, in the body of your intake tower just to avoid the large protein impurities to enter inside your tower next is good foundation condition after uh, taking water inside your tower it has to be conveyed through the pipeline so which is called as conveying pipeline or conduits pumps with suction pipe and uh, along with the standby condition you to repair uh, if one uh, pump is in of uh, not working then you have to provide standby then some well that is nothing but it is the well which is storing water then maintenance platform level indicator just to indicate the level of water uh, because there is a large variation in the river uh, if it is uh, used as a source of water so you have to constantly uh, record that level indicator then power source is required just to operate the motor then lighting arrangements then water level warning system approach road and also pure a uh, proper uh, security system for the safety of the intake well we'll discuss all the different types of intake structure one by one so first is submerged intake as the name suggests it is totally under water so here in this figure you can see this is water level and generally this type of submerged intake which is widely used for the lake intake structure so here below this water level this screens are provided so this screens that are uh, provided just to avoid the entry of the large floating impurities in the water and also this entry it is provided at the uh, uh, from the base at the distance of 2 to 2.5 meter so it is the same purpose to avoid the entry of the large amount of silt and sediment so uh, when water is coming from this particular uh, screen it will directly convey the water to this vitrol conduits now here you can see this is called as jack well and this jack well it is just used for storing water and for pumping of water so here at the base you can see this is called as strainer which is connected with a suction pipe now here there is arrangement of pump and then it is going to water treatment plant so this is the general arrangement generally provided that is in submerged intake next is exposed intake so here in this figure you can see this this is your intake tower that is connected with this foot bridge over which the vitrol pipe is provided so generally this is widely used kind of uh, intake structure and which is due to its ease in operation so for any source that is uh, you can utilize this particular type of intake structure so here uh, this intake structure is uh, generally provided near the uh, bank of river or it may be uh, far away from the river so in that case this kind of foot bridge are provided so if in case of reservoir this in exposed intake can be called as the gate house or valve tower so similar operation the port holes are there water will uh, be taken inside this tower then uh, connected with the suction pipe arrangement of valves are there for the control of flow and then it is transferred to the withdrawal pipe and then it will be transferred to water treatment plant now we will discuss regarding this wet intake structure wet intake structure is nothing but it is called as uh, a jack well and this jack well because it is storing water inside this well so water level in the particular source is same as water level in the pipe so generally it is consisting of a concrete shell uh, which is filled with the water inside and uh, also it is provided with the vertical shaft inside this particular shell so here you can see these are the entry from which water is coming now here in the vertical shaft also the entry uh, ports are provided that uh, for control of flow this valves are provided at the top and then it is transferring water to this withdrawal pipeline now these gates are generally used uh, which are placed on the shaft they are uh, generally used for the control of flow as i have discussed these are the flow control valves and uh, this particular uh, jack well that is transferring water to the pump house and uh, through this uh, withdrawal pipeline and then further it is transferred to water treatment plant next type is dry intake as the name suggests dry means there is no water in your tower so here you can see from the figure uh, this is outer water level in the source water will come from this entry port and that is directly discharging its water in the withdrawal pipeline 
there is no storage of water inside so here uh, this uh, particular dry intake it is just used for simply for the flow control by providing this valves and that is controlling flow of the water so whenever that these portholes are closed and then there is a additional buoyant force is coming from the bottom and that will uh, be dangerous for the structure so generally the heavy construction work is provided for this particular dry intake as compared to uh, wet intake structure and so uh, this water can be withdrawn at any point depending upon the level of water next is river intake as the name suggests the source of water is river so that's why it is called as river intake structure so generally at the upstream side of the river where there are less, uh, least chances of the contamination they are selected for the location so here this entry uh, uh, port that are provided at different location so that in the different uh, water level condition you can operate that entry port which are provided with the screening just to avoid the debris and floating impurities so if there is a high flood level then you can operate this entry port and if low water level then this entry port with the screen it is can be it can be operated so this entry port they are generally called as pen strokes now this they are connected with this uh, particular valves for the control of flow then next as this is also working as a check well so water is stored inside so here at the uh, base this screen is provided screen or strainer is provided connected with this uh, suction pipe and pump is also provided inside the tower and that is conveying water through this withdrawal pipe here it is written as rising main so rising main is nothing but as it is uh, 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 lifting water to the higher elevation it is called as the rising main and directly water can be transferred to withdrawal conduit so here the main thing is that you can provide different entry porthole or the pen strokes depending upon the situation of water you can operate that if you want to draw this particular figure in your exam then you can show this kind of simplified figure with the entry portholes at uh, two different levels then valves in the tower and this strainer at the base and this suction pipe this pump and then withdrawal conduit to water treatment plant as there is a large variation in the flow of river during monsoon and summer season if you want to guaranteed uh, water supply throughout the year the dam or uh, reservoir is constructed uh, and the storing of water is done in that uh, this particularly uh, reservoir when it is used as a source of water such similar kind of uh, tower which we, we can construct in river similar construction can be done inside this dam so here also uh, you can show this tower inside the dam and with this three port holes that is provided with the bell mouth entry so this kind of entry which is called as the bell mouth entry that are provided at three level in this figure high flood level normal water level and low water level this is provided with the screen just to avoid the entry of the large floating impurities all these port holes and entries that are uh, connected with the valves which are provided uh, at the top and then it is transferring water to this outlet pipe so uh, this valves these are called as the sluice valve to control the flow of water and uh, this outlet pipe that may be discharging water to the jack well and from jack well the pumping of water can be done and can be transferred water to water treatment plant so this way uh, this simplified figure you can draw uh, for the uh, examination purpose so here this intake pipes are there 1 2 and 3 provided with the bell mouth and tree screening then uh, this uh, sluice valve and this uh, air outlet pipe and it is moving towards jack well the figure of lake intake and as i have discussed it is a kind of submerged intake and this submerged intake uh, this is consisting of uh, this ci grating here so this is provided with the screening and generally the bell mouth entry is provided and uh, just to secure this particular uh, structure this additional planking as well as rock filling is done and uh, similar to this submerged intake this entry at the top it should be uh, minimum 2 to 2.5 meter above the bottom level of the lake to avoid the entry of large amount of silt and sediment
now as this is a uh, purely submerged in water whenever there is a low water level in your lake also you can uh, withdraw water now uh, as uh, this particular uh, lake intake uh, it is provided below water level there is no obstruction to the navigation channel and there is no uh, danger from the floating objects or there is no trouble due to ice so this is the one of the best advantage of this particular kind of submerged intake or lake intake so uh, if uh, this one pipe is not sufficient because it is directly supplying uh, water to the suction pipe and further to the pumping system uh, one or more uh, such kind of uh, structure can be created with a water level and uh, to get the required quantity of water many uh, uh, such kind of structures can be created which can be called as lake intake now in certain small towns if uh, there is a source of water which is a canal and in that case in the canal itself you can create a small concrete or masonry structure so this is your canal bank in which this uh, small masonry or concrete chamber is provided generally of a rectangular shape and that will admit water so here uh, the, there is a entry of water through this pore screen just to avoid the uh, large floating impurities and additionally this bell mouth entry is provided in the porthole and then water will come inside and it will be transported to this outlet pipe as we are providing this in canal itself it should not be uh, lo located in such a position that it uh, uh, obstruct the flow of water so proper location is very essential also the lining of a canal is uh, essential whenever we are creating such uh, canal intake in canals so in exam you can draw this kind of typical canal intake with this canal embankment within which you can draw this rectangular structure provided with the pore screen to avoid the entry of your uh, large floating impurities this is bell mouth entry which is provided uh, with this uh, outlet pipe which is called as the withdrawal conduits if you want to uh, further read and in detail about the intake structure or any uh, topic related to water and waste water engineering you can you can refer this nptel link which is given so thank you very much i hope that whatever uh, contents i have uh, shared with you that will be useful to you in uh, in the preparation of the subject related to intake structure thank you thank you very much all of you